So when it comes to racing, we definitely need to talk with you guys, Donald and Jose, because you are the experts in that regard. I would like to start with you, Jose. You are the most experienced captain who knows everything about our elite and pro players. What happened in the last couple of weeks? Yes, Angelo, we had a great week on March, and I will start with GT Pro Series with our recent Portuguese driver, Nuno Pinto. He has a great start of the season with two amazing qualifying and one podium what puts him on first position of the championship. So I have to say, obrigado Nuno, estamos muito felices por ter você na equipa. <laughs> Another big result was in the past weekend. We took part in the iRacing server in 12 hours with three really good results. Unfortunately, P7 for Alex Palou and Julian Rodriguez in a split one after a difficult race. They have pace for the top three, but they got crashed in the first stint. Really good bad luck for them, for the Kiwi team. <laughs> Amazing P1 for Laurent Miskiewicz. I don't know if I say it properly. <laughs> and Anthony Diel in a split two after a great recovery from the beginning. Incredible. <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, no, it, it's amazing. I'm so proud. Good game. What a last hour of suspense. Amazing, amazing. Good game. Yeah, they know, they know how to do it. <laughs> and our third car with a mix of fish and chips and a Spanish tortilla with Jack Ashton and Javier Roman finishes in a proudest P2 in a split four. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a really good result because I remember that they are two of our amateur drivers. Yeah. But that's not, not everything because our young sim racing star, Abel, will sign his first pro contract and joins the real world in the Spanish karting championship. This is completely amazing. This driver has no limits. <laughs> wow, that's, that's incredible, mate. But this month, we have a new team entry. Juan Manuel Gomez from Argentina joins Fort Silla to support the regional team with Emre Sihan and Gianmarco Fiducci. This team is getting strong, eh? Uh, yeah, the, the strong lineup we got in race room, it's a blast. I'm so proud of them. I, I, I'm always saying proud, but it, it's true. It's uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, nice results is, uh, will come from there. <laughs> and I want to finish mention that B10 is so close and our line map with Emre Sihan, Sean Arnold and Pablo Lopez is working very hard on the pre-season, eager to start and improve the results from season one. But now it's, uh, that, that's everything from me. And now is the turn of my French mate, Donald. Yeah, and I've got some uh, good news from uh, the amateur drivers that uh, we got. So I'm going to speak uh, about Joel Schmidt, who made four times the podium with one pole position on the CES Championship on Assetto Corsa. Jack Aston, uh, concerning the UK on iRacing, is currently P2 in the Indy Pro Championship. Good game. And uh, to finalize uh, this section uh, on Assetto Corsa Competizione, I hope you're proud of me, uh, Sarah, on the accents. Geoffrey Milotti Tinovic, Antoine Fleury, Michael Mazur and Fabien Piffet, our French guys, finished second on the 24 hours of Calami. So it's a blast. And uh, now they're preparing the next competition, the six hours of Spa. So good game, everyone. Uh, you're amazing drivers, in, even in the amateur section. So I'm crossing the fingers for the next races.